And we're back. Hope you had a righteous weekend, sailors. Thank you for launching Independent Reading with us last Friday. This week, our goal is to get you connected with a book. If you choose to check one out from our LMC with Mrs. Mann, you may use Destiny Discover, and she will find your book, check it out to you, and it'll be waiting in the LMC for your crew teacher to pick up. There's a um, it's tables with each teacher's name in the, in the media center. If you want to check out something from your English teacher, check out this Google form. It's on our, on our Google Classroom. Just put uh, your crew teacher, your name. If you know a specific title, like if you really want to read uh, Refugee or The Hate You Give, put that down. If you're unsure, what are some of your interests? If you like fishing, if you like hunting, football books, if you really need a soccer book, if you're into like graphic novels and comics, romance, put that down. Some of you filled this out on Friday and I already have books checked out to you and in your crew teacher's mailbox. So that's our goal. You're certainly welcome to bring in any of your own books that you already have or that you're into at home. We will do a feature Friday every week, but because this is new, we wanna do one on Monday and Friday to keep the momentum going. Today, I'm gonna to feature two authors. The first is Gordon Corman. Corman, he, he's hilarious. He, he writes books that have um, a lot of heart in them, but they're also, they're just funny. The, I think I mentioned Unteachables last Friday about this teacher who's just down on his luck and he gets the worst class of students ever to teach and just some of the antics they pull and, and how he kind of ends up uh, kind of falling in love with this, this group of kids and transforming uh, his feelings about the profession. Ungifted is one that I had an embarrassing laugh snort when I was reading silently one time in class because it's just one of those books that make you laugh out loud. This kid, Donovan Curtis, is a total punk. He and his boys, they pull this, this ultimate prank at school and it results in some very significant and costly damage to school property. And this is in his first rodeo. He's had a few run-ins with the principal and the, the principal's done, gonna throw the book at this kid and he's gonna be transferred out to an alternative school. The paperwork gets mixed up and he ends up being sent to a school for the gifted. So now he's with all these brainiacs and he's on this robotic team and he really doesn't belong, but yet he sort of feels like a connection with these kids and uncovers some of his own gifts. So this one is so fun. Restart, this is about uh, a kid that he gets to have a second chance, a new lease on life. So we'll watch a little book trailer from that one. My name is Corden Gorman. Wait, can I get a restart? Hi, my name is Gordon Corman, and I'm the author of Restart. What if the worst kid in the whole school got a total do-over on his life? That's Chase Ambrose. He's basically a big jerk. He's a bully, pushes people around. 90% of the kids in that school are terrified of Chase. And what happens is he falls off his roof. He's got one of those sort of low sloping ones. He lands on his head. He's okay, but he loses his memory. Total amnesia. But in the case of a kid like Chase, when you forget everything, one of the things you forget is what a big jerk you are. So will he ultimately go back to the kind of jerk and bully that he was before? Or is this his chance to restart his life? and be a different kind of person. It's especially hard for Chase because the kids he gravitates towards now, the artsy crowd and the video club, they're the ones he bullied the most in his old life. He has to choose to be the new Chase. It really is a difficult thing to restart your life. Obviously, Chase's situation is pretty unique. Not that many of us are formal bullies who fall off the roof and get amnesia. How awesome would it be to get a total do-over at your life? If you want to find out, you've got to read Restart. Look for Re Awesome. Okay, so that's Gordon Corman. Our LMC has his books. I have his books. Mrs. McCaskey does. There's some in Mr. Cheney's room, so check those out. And these are just a couple that he's written. He's written a lot. Uh, our next author I want to feature is Jason Reynolds. His work is a little bit more edgy, and it has a little bit more weight to it. 
Right now, Jason Reynolds has the, the distinguished honor of being the National Ambassador for Young People's Literature. And what that means is a Library of Congress selected him to tour the country for two years, and he gets to go into book or into uh, schools, libraries, juvenile detention centers, and promote reading, promote literacy. Uh, he writes from the heart. When he was nine years old, he just started writing a lot of rap, which turned into poetry. And now he writes, he writes stories. All of his works, um, they've won a ton of awards. I'm going to start with Long Way Down. This one is a quadruple award winner and it is written in verse. So that means when you open it up, you won't see lengthy paragraphs in there. It's kind of written. It's got some rhythm to it. It's, it's, it's almost like a rap. Um, it's poetry and it's edgy. This kid, he's 15 years old and his brother's been killed. And he's taken this elevator ride to go meet his brother's killer. And in this ride, he has to make a choice. How is he, what is he gonna do when he faces this person? So is it gonna be vengeance or is he gonna break the cycle of violence? So that one, it really, it's about, it's like 60 seconds, this ride in the elevator. Um, Look Both Ways is his most recent work and it's a National Book Award finalist. It's pretty cool. It all goes down at a bus stop and the story is told in different 10 blocks away from the bus stop and each block to the stop is a different kid's story. And so it's 10 little short stories. You will see in the different um, chapters or stories that the characters sort of intersect their lives, but they each tell their own little short story. And they're grappling with things like um, a parent who has cancer. They're grappling with things like anxiety, just like romance, just everyday stuff that, that teens um, might roll with, but also some heavy things as well. Look Both Ways is, is pretty awesome. We will read uh, Broom Dog, one of the short stories, an excerpt from this piece in, in our English class. All American Boys, this one's very timely and it deals with a lot of things that we're hearing and have heard about this summer. It's um, uh, an instance of pr police brutality goes down and it's told from two different perspectives, from uh, Rashad and from Quinn and how they experience this scene. Perhaps Jason Reynolds is most famous for his track series. These four kids on this track team, um, Sonny, Lou, Patina, and Ghost. You don't have to read them in a particular order, but again, these characters will kind of show up in each other's books. Um, Ghost was the first one, and this kid, he experiences uh, a horrible example of childhood trauma in his home. And he turns to running to kind of fuel him as therapy, to give him some purpose. He doesn't come from much. In fact, he doesn't even have like some sweet little Nike or Adidas running gear. He's got to run in jeans and he has to modify his high tops to make it work. But he meets an awesome coach and awesome kids. And they all kind of, they're all struggling with something and, and how that gets worked out. So we will take a look at the trailer from the track series by Jason Reynolds. Awesome. We'll check it out this week. Sailors get connected with a so book. So I saw 